So go ahead and append another shadow box in. Make sure that that one is selected. And I'll select the gun reference shadow box image. And at this point, I'm ready to go ahead and make another piece. I think this time I'm going to make the handle up here. So the simplest way to do that is to just go ahead and create a masking marquee in this rectangular shape. And we'll create another, oops, didn't mean to zoom in there. And we'll create another masking marquee. To knock out that portion. And I'll go to mask circle. Mask this portion here. That could be a lot sharper. So I'm going to delete this and go to the light box. I'm going to bring in a higher resolution shadow box. I'm going to bring in shadow box 512. And we'll select the reference image again. There we go. Now let's see if we don't get a better result this time. You can see it's a little bit slower when it's a, um, a higher resolution shadow box. It's got a bit more thinking to do. There we go. It's working much better. I'm going to go ahead and select the mask circle now. And we'll mask this circular area and it should be much higher quality. Yeah, that's going to actually work a lot better for me. And rotate around to a front view now. And go back to the masking marquee, or the masking rectangle. And let's place this one about like that. going to enlarge that just slightly. There we go. And we'll exit out of shadow box. And that gives us a much better result. I'm actually really happy with the result that we got from that higher resolution shadow box, despite what I was saying earlier about trying to work with a lower res. I think 512 is actually going to work better for some of these parts. I might revisit a couple of these in 512. For example, let's go ahead and turn off this piece. And I'm going to append the shadow box back in. Select our reference image. Turn off frame mode. And let's recreate this piece that we had before, but let's do it with a uh, much higher resolution shadow box. I think this is actually going to work a lot better for us. Go into the mask pen.
let's knock out some circular portions here using the mask circle. Control Alt, click and drag to make that circle knock out. And you're going to get a much higher resolution now. That looks much better. And I'm going to knock out a circle here. And that looks good. Go ahead and exit out of Shadowbox. And, oh, no, I made a mistake. I didn't narrow it. But that's okay. What I can do here to fix that is just go to my brush menu. And I'll use the clip curve brush. Click OK. Make sure X symmetry is turned on. And I'll just press Control, Alt, oops. Control Shift, click and drag. And the clip curve brush is going to clip everything on that shaded side. There we go. So it basically slices things down. So that's looking much better. I'm going to go ahead and go to File, Save As. And we'll save this as gun 4.